हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज हाउ टू पास आर एस सी एस एग्जाम विथ आउट ऑफ आउट मार्क्स विथ यूर लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट वी स्टार्ट दिस सीरीज इन ए इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग यूर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क इन आर एस सी एस एग्जाम इज अ कॉन्फिगर नेटवर्क दिस क्वेश्चन इज इजी सो वी सॉल्व द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन will solve after that okay so second question will be asked in rcsc exam is a create a default em repos we need to create a repos and repos help to install any packages do you want and these packages helps to solve the next question if this question will be you skip then you not solve any question okay so how we can solve this in a question paper here you can see that base os and app stream in question paper base url is given so we need to just type this base url in our terminal so how to solve this question here you can see that we need just to open a terminal box and here we need to just type a one command and this command is df hyphen h capital t this command helps to show how many directories are mounted so here you can see that uh, slash div slash sda1 is mounted on the boot directory slash div slash sr0 is mounted on a slash mnt slash rel9 i already mounted this directly slash div slash sr0 in a slash mnt slash rel9 so we can't again mount it this directory but i show how to mount this slash div slash sr0 in any of the file so how we can do this for that we need to just create a one directory for creating one directory we can use the mkdir command mkdir command is used to create a directory and we can mention the directory name here i mention the directory name is rhel rel 96 you can type any of the name whichever you want i mention the rel 96 after creating the but i want to create this rel 96 in slash mnt directory that's why i am mention here slash mnt slash rel 96 okay after that we can just type the enter okay then we only create a directory but i want to mount this directory in the slash dev slash sr0 partition so how we can mount this directory for that we need just use the fstep file and fstep file is used to permanently the mount any directory to the any partition so how we can uh, mount this directory so for that we need to find the fstep file and the location of the fstep file is slash etc slash fstep we can directly open this file with the help of the vim command vim command is the editing tool this vim command edit any of the file for example in android there are the notepad in windows word like that in the linux we using the vim okay we can directly open with the help of the vim vim slash etc slash fstep after opening this file we, we need to just type the i button after clicking the i button we go to the insert mode and here we can see that this is the our line here i am writing already this text so i just explain how to write very first we need to type the uuid and where we can found this uuid there are the one command i show you we just type blkid blkid command helps to show the uuid of this partition here we can mention that slash dev slash sr0 having the uuid this so we just copy this uuid and again go to this fstep file and we can just type this uuid here at the end of this file okay then we need to type 
mount directory and where we can create this mount directory slash mnt slash rail 96 that's why i am just editing 96 96 again in front of this mount directory we need to just type the type of the file and we can see here the file type here you can just see type is a iso 9660 that's why i am mentioned here iso 9660 after that we mention just default then space then zero then space this is the our fstep file and you just type this as it is after that you need to quite save and quite this file for saving and quite this file we what we can type just pressing the accept button after that type colon w for save q for quite and forcefully quite that's why we using experimentary mark then this file is a forcefully quite and save after that we need to just reload this file for reloading this file we use the command mount hyphen a after that our directory is permanently mounted at the location slash mnt slash rail 9 for seeing this location we just type df hyphen h capital t command here you can mention slash dev slash sr0 is mounted on slash mnt slash rail 9 here is uh, showing the slash mnt slash 90 uh, slash rail 9 why because we are not reboot this system and to and I have not enough time to reboot this system in rebooting it can take five to six minutes that's why I'm not rebooting this system but you can see that here the mounted is slash mnt slash rail 9 after these steps we need to just uh, type this uh, some text in a repos file and you can see the repos file where it, where it can locate it and this repos file located in the slash etc slash um.repos.t here we can create the repo file so how to create this file for that we need to just create a one repo file in a vim using the vim vim command is helps to edit any file and creating any file so i can directly create a one file vim slash etc under the etc directory under yum.repos.d in repos.d we can create the local local dot repo here you can mention any name of this repo file for example red hat dot repo i mentioned the local dot repo and you can see that i already paste this data in this file you just to you just to type this all data and this data is mentioned in your question paper okay so firstly you can mention the in square bracket base os any of the name then name of the file name of the this repo i can mention the rail line you can mention any of the name then very important is the base url this base url is written in your equation paper you need to just this you need to just copy and then paste very carefully type because a one mistake gives a one hour time in your exam and that's why you can it's chances to fail this exam so need to just copy and this paste very carefully then enable we need to enable this repo that's why we using the enable equal to one then gpgg equal to zero this is a standard format we need to just type in this file like in app stream name base url enable app stream and base url link app stream and base os base url link is given in your question paper so you need to just type carefully and then after that you need to just quite for quieting accept button colon wq and just experiment for the forcefully quite then you need to just type one command and this command is yum repo list all for checking our repo list is enable or not here you can make mention 
the Ripple is rail line app stream and base us is enabled that's and this status is showing that our repo list is enabled so for the checking purpose we need to install the one service and em install um em install samba and here you can see that you can install the, all the packages related to Saba. Just type the yes button to confirm this. And after clicking the yes, why he installed all packages related to Samba. And here, verify that this question is successfully solved. For verifying purpose, you can type this command yum or whichever you want to install this package. Here, you mention the name of this package yum install and the name of the package like HTTP, Samba or any of the file, uh, service name. So after that this question is solved and you will get 10 to 15 marks in this question. So thank you friends. If you like this video then please subscribe my channel and wait for next video. Thank you.